The Minnesota Timberwolves have been eliminated from the 2023 playoffs by the Denver Nuggets. And honestly, you can say this has been a disappointing year for the Wolves. They gave up a ton of assets for Rudy Gobert in the 2022 offseason. They expected to be a top five seed in the West. A first round exit as the eight seed is definitely not what they had in mind. So what is going on, everybody? How is everybody doing today? We are going to be rebuilding the Minnesota Timberwolves, a team that I've clowned a ton for the Gobert trade. We know it's going to be one of the worst in NBA history. But that's it. That's all I'm saying about the trade. I'm not going to clown on the T-Wolves. We're going to look into the future. We're going to see if we can turn this team around. I don't know if it's going to be with Gobert or without him. I don't know if it's going to be with Cat or without him. But I do know it's going to be with Anthony Edwards, one of the biggest rising stars in the league. A 21-year-old should not be this good. And then also Jaden McDaniels, who has broken out this season on the defensive side of the ball, one of the best defenders in the league. I can't wait to develop him as well. And to be honest, nobody else is really safe. Like I said, I would be open to moving Gobert. I don't know who would want him. I'd be open to moving Towns, but he just signed that extension and I'm going to be trading him for 50 cents on the dollar. Like I'm probably going to be getting maybe half of what I give up for him if I'm lucky. You have LeBron and the Lakers and Trey and the Hawks in the finals. I downloaded a scenario and let's see who wins it all. Hawks or Lakers It's going to be the Hawks in five with Trey Young being your finals MVP. So a lot of you guys asked me, how do I do it? Just basically download a scenario that says start today or it says the date in the description. It changes every day. So I can't really tell you which one I download. Like let me just search in the scenarios. Start today, April 27th, 2023 or four. 27 23 and it'll come up don't worry Kyle Lowry retired this offseason and I don't think we get our first round pick in this draft I believe it goes to the Jazz yeah at 15 it's a nice pick we could have had we're going to keep Chris Finch as our head coach one trade that I could think about is trading Carl Anthony Towns to the Trailblazers getting like an Anthony Simons pick seven shade and sharp package in return now i don't think i'd be able to get shade and sharp as well in this and we do have anthony edwards already so i'd be looking for maybe a point guard in return but we could have simons be at the two edwards at the three or maybe even develop simons to be our franchise point guard i mean if they accepted this i feel like i would have to do this but i don't think they will i mean if i gave you guys slow-mo as well i mean you're not going to take gobert nor can you afford gobert and two seconds so i at least get a counter okay so i probably have to do this trade without shade and sharp now if i also ask for the 22nd pick in the draft and your 2025 unprotected first when they do this three first round picks in anthony simons for carl anthony towns towns is gonna be making 50 plus million in uh his next contract which goes into effect next season this might not be a bad idea just to offer and see they don't want to do that now what about if i kind of want like that 2025 first i think i would do this as well Okay, maybe we're far off. All right, so let's just start the draft. And Wemby goes number one to the Orlando Magic. At two, the Utah Jazz selects Scoot Henderson. And Cam Whitmore goes above Brandon Miller at three to the Hornets as Miller goes four to the Pistons. Nick Smith goes number five to the Rockets. And Jalen Hood Shafino goes to the Spurs. So I didn't really find a trade that I liked for Carl Anthony Towns on draft night. We got Isaiah Wong with the 45th pick and Greg Glenn with the 53rd pick. We're picking up the team option on Anthony Edwards for $24 million. Mike Conley, I'm going to decline that. 3.9 for Jaden McDaniels. That's going to be picked up. Torian Prince for 7.65. I'm going to decline that just because I think I can get him for a little bit cheaper in free agency. I'm going to decline it on McLaughlin and Nathan Knight as well. So we're going to try to re-sign Torian Prince in free agency to a multi-year contract. Nikhil Alexander-Walker, I'll give the $7 million to. We do have about $25 million in cap space. So I could theoretically go out and sign Fred Van Vliet, but I'd have to say goodbye to a lot of these guys. You know what? I think I might try to sign Fred Van Vliet to be our point guard. Now, I would have to renounce the rights on Nas Reed, Jalen Noah. Oh, that's tough to do, man. That really is. But I wonder if like 2K, like I never know if they'll let me re-sign some of these guys, even if I renounce their rights. And do I want to take a chance on that? I could bring back Mike Conley for one year as well. I would just kind of love Fred Van Vliet on this team. So I think I'm going to take that chance. It might come back to bite me. I'm being very risky here. So we're going to give him about three-year deal, 25 mil. It's going to be front-loaded though. Now we're hoping that Mike Conley, Nasri, Jalen Noel, they all make it past moratorium because we should get Fred Van Vliet. I have to renounce the rights on all of them. I'm just praying like Nasri doesn't get offered a deal and we could go back on this before moratorium ends. It's looking like they're not going to get any deals. So this is the moment of truth. We pick up Fred Van Vliet. He's going to be our starting point guard next season. That's an upgrade. Now let's see best players I could sign. I can get Mike Conley. Okay. Um, I think, I think we can get Mike Conley. It doesn't look like I get Jalen Noel. I'm just really hoping I can get Nas Reed. Damn it. 
why can I sign Mike Conley, but I can't sign Nas Reed? Yeah, that's frustrating because that was the guy I wanted back. All right, so we're going to sign Mike Conley. It would make sense. He'll be the backup next year, so I can probably get him under a two-year deal. I'm going to make that a team option so it's not like a fully guaranteed contract. And then I wonder if I could also snag like a Dante DiVincenzo who could be a big pickup as well for us. I don't know if I could sign both of them. But I would honestly give Dante DiVincenzo a four-year deal. So I'm actually glad we could sign DiVincenzo first because now I'm curious, can I sign Mike Conley to that or it was only that DiVincenzo contract that was I was able to do? Okay, I mean, want to bring them back or at least Conley. Now, we kind of need another center. Also, Torian Prince, I probably should have picked up that team option now. I look like an idiot. We're actually going to be sending Kyle Anderson back to Memphis. We're going to be getting Brandon Clark in this trade here. They're looking to shed a little bit of that long-term money, Memphis. And I think this is a trade that we need to make. So right now, we are chilling at the point guard position. Fred Van Vliet is the starter. Mike Conley is the backup. Edwards at the two. DiVincenzo is the backup. McDaniels at the three. I'm hoping to get Wendell Moore some minutes. We got Towns at the four. And then we have Gobert at the five with Clark being his backup. Player progression, I feel like this isn't going to be a great sight. Gobert regresses. Ant goes up to an 87. McDaniel's up to an 80. I feel like this team will do all right in 2K purpose, but calmly, I mean, it's a one-year deal. I'm hoping Van Vliet can give me some good years as our starting point guard. Was Chris Finch an assistant in Toronto? Because that could be a realistic recruiting job by him. I could be wrong. Yes, he was an assistant in 2021. Until I find out it's by a Raptors fan in the comments that Finch and Van Vliet actually hated each other. So while Van Vliet, Edwards, McDaniels, Towns, Gobert in the starting five. And then off the bench, we have DiVincenzo, Clark, Conley, and more. A lot of red right now. Let's hope to get some green soon. Under Chris Finch, seven seconds, we are four stars. I also plan on sending Isaiah Wong to the G League, but I do have to sign somebody first. As Russell Westbrook went unsigned, unfortunately. I don't know if anybody's giving you 22 mil, Russ. I know you played well in the playoffs, though. This is the problem. Why is Sharif Cooper asking for $11 million after he went unsigned in free agency? All right, first game of the season on the road against the Kings, and we ended up losing by eight, 125, 117. We're not stopping until we get a win, and we are 0-2 to start the season. Great. Road game against the Warriors. Oh my god, we are 0-3 to start the Year. I think we do have our first round pick. Luckily, if we are going to be bad. So a lot could change this year. Let's see what happens. Like Chris Finch could end up getting fired. I could move Cat and or Gobert. We do have our first round pick thankfully. But yeah, I don't have the most confidence about this season. We do have an all-star. I didn't know. Are we going to see two all-stars? Wait, Cat makes it, but Anthony Edwards doesn't. I mean, Cat is having a very good season. He doesn't want to get traded. We are 25 and 28. So we just also don't want to be mid either. We're the current eight seed in the West. Edwards is just behind him though at 22.7 points. He's at 5.8 rebounds and five assists. McDaniels, 15 points and four rebounds, 37 from three. We know we're getting the elite D. Pause. Van Vliet, I think has been good. Good free throw shooter. Really good three-point shooter. The field goal percentage is fine at 43%. 7.8 assists a night. He's a leader for us in the locker room. We got Gobert there, averaging a double-double. DiVincenzo's been fine off the bench. Same with Brandon Clark. But this is probably our ceiling, like with this current roster, which kind of sucks. I'm going to see if I can make any moves at the deadline, but I just feel like I don't really know. I just don't know what to do at this current moment with this team. I should just trade Cat for Kyrie straight up. Man, I'm intrigued about the Trey Young deal. But we got Van Vliet. Now we could... Oh, no. We can't run a Van Vliet young backcourt. That... I feel like that would just be too small. Now Van Vliet's fine on defense. But I feel like I need like a true size stud perimeter defender next to Trey Young. And in this trade, like, I'm not trading McDaniels as well. I mean, Young's under contract, Cat's under contract. I can make that trade eventually. I want to see if I can give Mike Conley to the Dallas Mavericks for Bertans, who's an expiring contract, but they're definitely going to upgrade their team by getting Conley. Like, can I just get a 2028 20, first instead? Let's see if they do this trade. Mm, I, I would have to give up multiple seconds. You know what? We need a little bit of draft capital back. Let's do that. So yeah, I'm kind of punting a little bit on this season. Isaiah Wong's going to get probably like 16 minutes a night. We could do this similar amount or same amount to Wendell Moore. And we can do about one more to DiVincenzo and Clark. I don't think we were going to win a championship anyway. I was able to get a first round pick for Mike Conley before he was going to maybe even retire in the off season. We're going to have to pay a lot of money to Jaden McDaniels and Anthony Edwards in the off season. All right, maybe the Hawks wouldn't have traded me Trey Young. He wins MVP this season. Victor Wembenyama wins rookie of the year. Tari Eason gets 
get six man of the year, Giannis Depoy, Garland most improved, and Quinn Schneider coach of the year. All right, the Hawks are pretty good. We don't get any Wolves on the all NBA teams or the all rookie teams either. We ended up making the playoffs as the sixth seed, so we're not gonna have like the highest draft pick in the world. Dante DiVincenzo will be out for the playoffs as he tore a ligament in his right elbow. Anthony Edwards finished with more points per game this season than Cat. McDaniels is breaking out, man. And like, what's nice about Gobert, at least in 2K, right? Like, because it takes out all the locker room stuff, but he is 31 making a ton of money, but he doesn't demand the ball to be effective. That is so huge in this sim because I can let Cat cook. I can let Ant cook. I can even let McDaniels cook, but I go bear, can get me rebounds, blocks, play good D. I was hoping Van Vliet could do that just with his assists instead of rebounds and steals instead of blocks. This team also has one of the worst benches in the league, and that's on me. I took that risk. Letting Noel walk and Prince and Nas Reed for Fred Van Vliet. That was on me. DeAndre Bembry is going to be getting playoff minutes for us. So it's going to be 32 to Van Vliet, 40 to Ant, 34 to McDaniels, 37 to Cat, and 33 to Gobert with, like I said, one of the worst benches in the league. Still four stars in your system proficiency. And we're taking on the Pelicans in round one, a team I don't think we are going to beat. They do have Russell Westbrook. Christian Wood was traded for Nikola Vucevic, Yusuf Nurkic for John Collins, Steven Adams for Drummond, Lopez for Clint Capella. Okay, there were some interesting trades this year. Zach Levine for Alperu and Shangun. The Pelicans are fully healthy. Hey, maybe we can pull off the upset. We win game one. We blow them out. On the road, too. Cat with 48 points and 11 rebounds. Game number two, we ended up losing this one. But hey, even we lost by five. Like, we split them in New Orleans. I'll take that. Cat is showing. He's like, Matt, you should not trade me. Game number three, we do win by 22 points. Ant and Cat combined for 60. A great game from Van Vliet and McDaniels. Game number four, oh, I tie it up. It would have been so nice to go up three games to one. Because I don't think we're going to win this series now. We do go up three to two. We're going back and forth, back and forth. So, if this trend continues we are going to lose game six. Oh, okay. We win in six. We get a playoff series victory. Hell yeah. Cat just averaged 32 points in those six games. Edwards with 29, five and four, and we advance. Let's freaking go. We're taking on the two seated Lakers who still have LeBron. They were able to get Dinwiddie, still have Jared Vanderbilt. That's a revenge game right there. They drafted Jed Howard who had a really good rookie season. Game one against the Lakers. We ended up losing by 17 yikes why is gobert shooting the ball 15 times i don't love that oh we dropped game two we end up going down 101 91 i'm gonna make some changes to the rotation we don't uh, maybe i'm gonna even lower gobert's minutes just a little bit down to like 28 a night just because he's not even being efficient uh clark i'm gonna give him about 25 minutes and honestly Let's give Kat, Van Vliet, and McDaniels a little bit more. Game number three, we drop this one by 17 at home. LeBron drops 33 on us, and are we going to get swept? Nope, we don't get swept, which I'll take, but we're going to get gentlemen swept. No, we're alive? <laughs> okay, maybe those changes to the rotation worked out. Can we force a game seven, and the Lakers are going to blow a three to a lead? It's looking kind of good for us right now. I mean, we're up by 16 at home. Oh my god, the Lakers are possibly blowing a 3-0 lead we beat them by 16 <laughs> here we go game seven. Oh my god imagine the memes if lebron blew a 3-0 lead that'd be insane we're on the road though we had a great first quarter terrible second quarter third quarter is all right oh we're down by 10 though because this fourth has not gone our way and we end up losing by 13 points edwards played great we almost came back down 3-0. They teased me. There's both one seeds and two seeds in the conference finals. Trey Young and LeBron in the finals. And the Hawks win in seven. Young being your finals MVP. This guy has been back to back-to-back -to -back finals in 2K simulation. Damn, Al Horford had to retire due to injury after dislocating his right patella. LeBron does retire. I don't know, though. Actually, I don't even think he retired. 2K just is a... Like, there's a glitch with LeBron getting into the hall of fame before he even retires and his jersey retired as well so we are gonna have our first round pick here in the 2024 nba draft it's gonna be at 18 i could look to trade up not sure what it would be because i don't have additional assets to trade up with so yeah i'm probably not gonna trade up chris finch did get me a playoff series victory took the two seeded lakers to seven don't think I'm going to fire him. I guess I could move DiVincenzo or Clark. All right, let's just see who's available for us at 18. The Heat take Zachary Rasatcher with the number one pick out of France. Two is Robert Dillingham out of Kentucky. Sue so Buzuelis doesn't go in the top three or Justin Edwards. He goes four. Isaiah Collier drops out of the top four as well. I mean, I'm hoping there's just a stud that fell to me. Could have traded up for DJ Wagner at 10. That's probably what I should have did. Oh, Ron Holland at 16. 
Damn it. All right, I'm going to take Tyrese Proctor here with the 18th overall pick. He's going to be our backup point guard next year behind Fred Van Vliet. He's a 74 overall. Mondo Baycott out of UNC. We got there with pick 41, or excuse me, 51. Picking up the team option on Wendell Moore, not Bertans, Isaiah Wong, and Greg Glenn. We're giving all three of these guys the qualifying offers. Yeah, I'll give Xavier Cooks it as well. Yeah, we're about to pay them like 60 million combined. Honestly, Bertans back for like the minimum. I'd probably do that. So let's see if Edwards and McDaniels get contracts. Um, they do not. Okay, so uh, let's give McDaniels a lot of money. I'm going to try to front load McDaniels' deal um, with Edwards getting a flat rate. Uh, let's see if we can get both of them. That'd be nice. And boom, welcome back. Anthony Edwards, welcome back, Jaden McDaniels. We're going to get him back a year later, but I'm going to sign Torian Prince here. Do a two-year deal, but a team option on the second year. So this bench does look a little bit better. It does. All right, Edwards is up to a 90 overall. Kat and Van Vliet go up. McDaniels and DiVincenzo go up. Wendell Moore even went up a little bit. I just wish Gobert didn't have the player option next year on his deal. So I don't think Wendell Moore is going to crack the rotation. So it's going to be Van Vliet, Edwards, McDaniels, Towns, and Gobert again. With Clark, DiVincenzo, Proctor, and Prince off the bench. Four and a half stars, seven seconds. Game one of the season on the road against the Warriors, and we end up giving up 137 points. What's the point of having Gobert? We're giving up 137, but we blow out the Clippers by 59 points. Whoa. All right. I'm just upset, man. Like... Carl and the Towns made the All-Star game. We were like 14 and 10 going in the right direction. Well, like, DiVincenzo got hurt again. Wendell Moore came in playing well. Everybody was playing well. And this team is now 23 and 30. We also don't have our first round pick at the end of the season. So I got to do something that's going to change this team around. I'm fine with Fred Van Vliet. He currently still has two years left on his deal. I could get, I think, a decent amount for him. Elite three-point shooter. Great passer. Gobert, though, is so useless. He's so useless. I just don't know what I'm getting for him. Uh, McDaniel's shooting 43 from the field, just down 8% from two years ago. But the three-point percentage is still good. Cat uh, is still fine. I'm surprised this team is this bad. I mean, the Gobert contract will be an expiring in the offseason. Do I just do a one-for-one -one with PG? I'd probably prefer to do this because PG is a free agent at the end of the year. Oh, my God. This Draymond contract might be worse. So the Wizards signed Nas Reed, right? And they're already locked into Bradley Beal. Would they take on Gobert? Bogdanovich is a free agent at the end of the year. I pay Nas Reed 14 mil next year, which is fine. You know what? I think we do this trade. We're also giving them Isaiah Wong. And I will also throw in one of my second rounders as well. They're going to go bear this year. Next year, go bear and Beal. It's not the worst like thing to do um, because who else is on this team? And clearly they're not moving Beal. So they have to take on somebody else. Go bear um, is definitely an upgrade over Nas Reed. So you know what? You're basically upgrading there with Bojan leaving at the end of the year. So let's complete this trade. And Rudy Gobert is no longer a Minnesota Timberwolf. That's probably going to be the only trade I make at this deadline. Uh, it's a pretty big one finally getting off Rudy Gobert. Maybe we play better. Nobody's due for a contract extension either. Lamelo Ball wins MVP. Lonzo Ball wins six, man. It would have been kind of crazy if he was backing up Lamelo. Chet Holmgren, Depoy, Kuminga, most improved Bickerstaff coach of the year as Robert Dillingham got rookie of the year. Carl Anthony Towns made all NBA third team. Anthony Edwards, all defensive second team. Oh, how did he not make an all NBA team? Because clearly he was an elite defender and he averaged 26 a night, man. He's 23 years old, averaging 26 a night. Tyrese Proctor on all rookie second team. We made the play in tournament as the ninth seed. Here were the other stats. Basically, McDaniels with 15, Van Vliet with 13 and 8. There's Nas Reed and Bojan Bogdanovich. So can we beat Memphis? I'm not even getting my hopes up. Oh my god, we lose. <laughs> oh man, Ja dropped a 39-point triple-double. This Timberwolves rebuild is tough. I might trade Cat this offseason, and I'm probably going to fire Chris Finch. You got the Cavs and the Nuggets in the NBA Finals, and the Nuggets win in six, with Jokic being your Finals MVP. Brooke Lopez retires, Russell Westbrook, Derek Rose. Russ heads to the Hall of Fame and gets his jersey retired. And the Minnesota Timberwolves are going to get our pick at number 12. We do not have any other first in this draft, right? Nope. That sucks. So yeah, Chris Finch was a free agent anyway, so it works out. I might bring in Ty Wu to save the Timberwolves. Yeah, I'm really hoping he signs with us. Okay, let's go. Ty Wu, let's do this. I think I'm going to make Carl Anthony Towns my center next year. It's just so hard to try and trade him because he's making $54 million a year. I'm going to try to trade Brandon Clark to the Utah Jazz for the 12th overall pick in the draft. They want to do a swap and give me Beasley, which I just don't want to do at all. I don't really think I even have a player that I would throw in. I would give you a second... Ugh, 2029 first for Darius Baisley. Do I want Baisley? I don't at all, actually. 
So if I can't give it or get that deal without the first, we're not going to do it. The Thunder kind of like Brandon Clark. When they do this, they have like three first round picks as well. DiVincenzo for Isaiah Joe. Honestly, we're going to do this trade. All right, Brandon Clark and Dante DiVincenzo as well as two seconds for Isaiah Joe. And we're getting the seventh overall pick in the draft. That was kind of a big pickup for us. The number one overall pick was just traded for De'Aaron Fox in a 2029 first. Wow. And with the seventh pick, I'm going to be taking Nasir Cunningham, another small forward. So we are going to sign him, obviously. Wendell Moore, I'm going to pick that up. Could maybe trade him. I'm also going to pick up Baycots, but not Torian Princes. All right, I'm going to sign Matisse Thibault to a one-year deal. I don't know if he is going to crack our rotation, but just nice to have an elite defender off the bench. LeBron is still in the league at 40, man. Anthony Edwards is a 91. Katz up to an 88. McDaniels goes up to an 86. Van Vliet, 85. Reed went up. Moore and Proctor went up as well. All right, I'm going to have a very quick leash with this team i'm hoping that Ty Lue can change things around for us you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna start nasir cunningham and we're gonna mcdaniels play the four and yeah that's what we're gonna rock with to start the season first game of the season we always lose it on the road to the lakers and we win all right maybe we're gonna be a little bit better this season at home against the warriors we win by 14 okay and a voice crack there that wasn't embarrassing we just beat the clippers by 40 oh yeah i am also not looking forward to that clippers rebuild because they're just impossible to rebuild realistically in 2k all right we are starting off the season hot anthony edwards is averaging 25 points a night at home against the spurs we beat him by two and we are six and oh to start the year maybe it's just about coaching man we end up losing to the pelicans by one but what a great start all right it is the all-star draft and we're actually above 500 cat does not make it Man, this game just hates Anthony Edwards because he does not make the all-star game. But we're 32 and 21. Edwards is our leading score. Cat's dealing with an injury at the moment. McDaniels is averaging a career-high 17 points a night. And we're about to make a big offer to the Blazers. Fred Van Vliet, Wendell Moore, and a first-round pick for Anthony Simons, who's on the final year of his contract. Zach Eady's also going to be in that trade. And we're going to convert Anthony Simons to a point guard. So does this overall go down? It actually goes up. Whoa. So for now, it's going to be Simons and Edwards, McDaniels. Uh, probably not Greg Glenn there. I think I'm going to maybe put McDaniels at the four, Cunningham at the three. And then I guess I'm going to be playing Matisse Thibel a little bit more as well now. Well, because Carl Anthony Towns is currently hurt. So I'm hoping that is a championship level upgrade and we can honestly maybe even win it all this year if this team plays to its fullest potential. All right. We are 53 in 27. We win 55 games our best record yet anthony edwards all defensive second team oh my god that actually got us the number one seed in the western conference by two games over the rockets taking a look at the player stats from this season edwards was the only guy to score above 20 a night if simons can average like six and emphasis in the playoffs i'll be very happy with that we're gonna be taking on the denver nuggets Okay, we've come full circle since the start of this rebuild. Nikola Jokic still there. So Matisse Thibel is going to get about 10 minutes a night. Tyrese Proctor, probably around 17. Isaiah Joe, 20. Nasir Cunningham, honestly, let's give him 25 minutes a night. Cat, I want to do 36 to. About 28 to Nas Reed. 33 to McDaniels. 40 to Edwards. I got to find more than that. Okay, so let's just maybe subtract some of these. And we can do about 34 to Simons. System proficiency. Okay, we're not going to be uh, defense. Let's go to balance. Can we beat the Nuggets and go on to round two? And we sweep them. All right, that is what I'm talking about. Can we beat the Nuggets and go to the conference finals? They have Lowry Markkinen, Triple J, and Ja Morant there. Terry Rozier as well. It's a good team. We're down two to one. We tied up two to two. We go up three to two. And we're going to a game seven in round two. I hate that so much. I feel kind of confident. I don't know why, but that might be a bad thing. I should not be cocky at all. We were losing for most of that first half. Um, it just felt like, but we have a great third quarter. We just scored 51 points in the third. <laughs> we end up winning by 25. Cat and Edwards come on for 62. And we're in the conference finals to take on, okay, even more full circle. The team that maybe screwed up this uh, rebuild for the future, uh, the Utah Jazz. who gave us Rudy Gobert. They have Denny Avdi on Walker Castle in the front court. I love that. Edwards at the three. They developed a better. I would have loved that. Scoot Henderson at the one. That's sick. I just don't love Gary Trent at the two, but that's just a fun team, man. I like it a lot. And I feel like they're going to beat us. We do win game one, though, by 10 points. Cat with 38, 9, and 8. Game number two, we end up winning. How many assists is Simon's averaging in the playoffs? 4.9. Can we go? Honestly, let's just see if we the round. Don't blow it to a lead. What the f My God. Are you kidding me? 
Are you kidding? I hate 2K. We just were. Did we blow a 3 0 lead? What happened in game three? No, we got blown out. We went up. We blew a 3 to 1 lead, though. Of course we did. Of course we did. The Utah Jazz, man, they just stay owning the Minnesota Timberwolves. Edwards averaged 18 points. Why? And the Celtics won at five with Tatum being your finals MVP. Chris Paul and James Harden retire. They're definitely going to be going to the Hall of Fame. Two former Rockets. Knicks win the lottery here in 2026. I'm really hoping I'm able to re-sign Anthony Simons in free agency. Before I even think about moving Cat, let me see and make sure that I can or can't bring back Simons. Are the Mavericks going to be bad next year? Uh hoping so the Knicks ended up with Tyron Williamson not Zion Williamson but he looks like a freaking stud we're gonna pick up the team option on Tyrese Proctor nobody here is like that important to re-sign okay we do have bird rights on Simons let's go I'm gonna have to pay him Nas Reed I'm gonna bring back as well and we signed both of them Nas Reed to a three-year deal Simons to a five-year deal but the last year being a player option I really do want to win a championship with Carl Anthony Towns though even though I just don't love this roster right now like we have about eight guys here but like I don't know. We need more. I definitely need another center. So I'm going to bring in Thomas Bryant. Probably going to go injuries off next year. I might turn them off as a whole. I don't know. I, I go back and forth with it every day. It's so annoying. As Anthony Edwards is a 96 overall. Jaden McDaniels is an 89. Okay. I mean, we were just one game away from going to the NBA Finals. Maybe I should chill. Let's see how this team can do this season. And I'm really hoping that we can be the one seed again in the Western Conference. Now having a full year with Anthony Simons on our team. We started off the season, not off to the best start. I should have traded Cat for like Scoot Henderson back in year one. I can't wait to get this guy in a rebuild soon because he develops like just at an insane progression. I better also see this Hawks like elite winning simulation when I do my Hawks rebuild. And did make the all-star game this year, another all defensive team, but was not an all NBA member. We were the third seed in the West. Eh. Anthony Edwards was by far a leading scorer this season. He's up to a 97 overall. Cats up to an 89. You got McDaniels at a 91. He's been developing at an insane rate as well, which is just nice to see. So for the playoffs, I want Nasir Cunningham getting a decent amount of minutes. I think Nasri can get like 22. I like Isaiah Joe getting a decent amount of minutes. I'm going to stop getting him as well, just because he's an elite three-point shooter. Isaiah Proctor wasn't too bad this season. He's going to get about 15 minutes. We're going to do about 12 to Thomas Bryant. We do about 35 to Towns and Simons, and we do about 32 to McDaniels, while 40 to Ant. Round one against the Lakers. We can get revenge on them from a few years ago. LeBron is somehow still playing for them. I don't get that at all. Don't beat me. Oh my God. The Lakers blew a 3-1 to one lead. I'm like watching us be down 3-1. to one. I'm like, oh, another wasted season. I can't win this with Cat. And they blow a 3-1 to one lead. Are you kidding me, man? Are you kidding me? That is insane. This rebuild has been kind of crazy with some of these blown weeds. What a horrible overtime attempt by us in game two. All right, now we take on the two-seeded Rockets. This team is also kind of stacked. Oh, and they have Jalen Duran, who I just hate going up against. And we win in six. <laughs> we're in the conference finals shout out to ant in that series cat was great as well and mcdaniels now we're taking on the warriors who have jordan Poole and Jaden ivy in their backcourt griffin wiggins and jared allen with case and wallace kenny martin off the bench can we go to the nba finals i think we did yes oh my god we won in seven games anthony edwards is your western conference finals mvp brandon miller eastern conference finals mvp man we have gone to two game sevens already we won in six this has been way too nerve-wracking. They have probably Cade. Yep. Lonzo, Miller, Murphy, Kessler, and Anobi, Herder, Zach Collins. All right, let's see what happens here in the finals. Please win it. Yes, we sweep them. <laughs> the Western Conference maybe was just at a higher level. And the Minnesota Timberwolves win it all with Carl Anthony Towns still on the roster. And he gets finals MVP as well. So I kept Ant. I kept Jada McDaniels. I kept Cat. I let Reed walk and then eventually brought him back. We had guys like Anthony Simons, Nasir Cunningham, Isaiah Joe, Tyrese Proctor, Thomas Bryant. And just an insane development from Jaden McDaniels really helped us out. And he played at a phenomenal level in the playoffs. And Anthony Edwards, man, 96 overall at the age of 25. He was a beast in the playoffs. And Cat, I think maybe was best to go back to center. So hope you guys did enjoy the Timberwolves rebuild. Let me know if you did by dropping a thumbs up. Can we maybe get 2,000 likes on the video? I love you guys and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.